Greetings heroes, I'm Hercules0070 and today we're talking about the Steam Deck. Link in the description for where I got my information about this video. There are things I did not cover, so if you have more questions, there may be something uh, you would appreciate in that link. Remember, please make sure you hit that share, make sure you comment, make sure that you like. Um, sharing is the most important, sharing is caring. Please make sure you hit the share button. Take the URL, put it on your Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Discord, put whatever you can. But I uh, just want to make sure I clarify, all the information I got from this is in the link in the description. And um, let's have a little chat. Comment down below if uh, you have any input on this. So stream the Steam Deck. Valve intends to partner with stores as the Steam Deck becomes more readily available. For now, you can only buy it from Steam. The Steam Deck is available for purchase on February 25th. If you pre-order and it has the Q1 ship date, your system should ship on February 28th. For the people with the Q2 or later ship date, don't expect to receive the Steam Deck as soon. Sure, you may get lucky with resellers, but don't hold your breath. And resellers will blow the price out of the market and make it crazy. Uh, the budget Steam Deck costs $399 and uses a 64 gig eMMC PCLE Gen 2 internal storage. With how ridiculous the size of modern games have gotten, you may be quickly disappointed when you realize that some AAA games won't fit on this at all. But it comes with a handy carrying case. Um, the next option is with the mid tier cost of $529, it costs. It comes with a 256 gig NVMe SSD PCIe Gen 3 x 4, which is significantly faster and larger, as well as an exclusive Steam Community Profile Bundle. And you can't leave out the carrying case. <laughs> if you want to have multiple AAA games on your device, I feel that this is your only option with the cost of $649 USD. A 512 gig high speed NVMe SSD PCIe Gen 3x4 is the fastest and the largest memory size. This version comes with a premium anti glare etched glass screen, an exclusive virtual theme, Steam Community Profile Bundle, and a unique carrying case. Unique carrying case. Now it says virtual keyboard <coughs> theme. So I guess like touchscreen keyboard theme, it's a cus it's an exclusive one just for this version. You get an etched glass screen and the carrying case is unique. So it's a different carrying case than the other ones, but it's a carrying case. <coughs> now don't worry if you end up getting the budget option and you're okay with installing your games on a memory card, you'll have the option of installing an SD SDXC and an SDHC card on the UHS bus slot on the bottom of the system. You may also be happy to hear that you can boot an operating system such as Windows off of the card. That's awesome. So that means that if you can't just push that extra cash to get the bigger one, you still have an option with, S with the SD card slot if you're okay with using an SD card slot. And if you get the bigger one, you can even expand it more having even more game options because if you think about how big the Steam library is, you want to have as much space as possible. Uh, and if seven inches is big enough for you, then you'll be happy to hear that's the size of the touchscreen with a 1280 by 800 resolution, a, six, a 60 hertz refresh rate. The glass is optically bonded ISP LCD, and it is as bright as 400 nits on the 649 512 gig model as an anti-glare etched screen, as mentioned before. Um, the more expensive version has up to 400 nits. They don't. They didn't specify on the other ones. And when it comes to the touchy parts, the standard gamepad controls A, B, X, Y, buttons, D-pads, with the L and R analog trigger and bumpers, two analog thumbsticks, uh, capacity with capacity touch also four assignable grip buttons on the back this like the steam controller and like the 8-bit duo pro 2 controller if you're familiar 
And if you didn't think that was enough, how about two trackpads? The twin 32.5 millimeter square trackpads utilize haptic feedback with two LRA motors under each pad. The trackpads have 5% better latency compared to the Steam controller. The pads also have pressure sensitive controls and customizable click strengths. The trackpads were easily the most aspect of the Steam controller as they offer tactical mouse-like functionality. So it's to simulate like a mouse. Okay, that's awesome. So you have the two trackpads, they have a better latency, they also have haptic feedback with those. So it simulates the mouse, but also has the haptic feedback, which is really cool. You could see um, right here, those little square pieces underneath the analog sticks. That's really cool. I have not experienced the, um, the 8-bit Duo Pro controller or the Steam controller, but that sounds awesome. That sounds, that sounds like a whole new experience. And wait, there's more. If you enjoy tilting your phone, your tablet, or even your Switch controller to play games in all different imaginative ways, they've even got you there. It also has a 6-axis IMU gyro sensor. That is great. I mean, think of all the different games that you've played on your phone tilting it, or even the Switch controllers or the Pro Controller tilting it. That is really unique. I like that. With a 400, or no, sorry, with a 40 watt hour battery that delivers a two to eight hours of gameplay, according to Valve, this estimate assumes that the game is running 30 frames per second with 50% brightness and volume. Naturally, your mileage will vary. In my opinion, uh, you can get a hefty battery bank, which will m most likely you already have. Well, you should be fine. Um, I mean, there are some really big battery banks you can get. Shove it in your backpack, plug it into this thing, and you can go be anywhere. You can be on the train, on the bus. You know, there's a lot of people who have to have long trips, to, long uh, travel ways to get to school or get to work or, you know, go to meetings and things. And, and they're sitting just, you know, doing nothing. You can pop in a podcast and play some Halo or something. You can do a lot. Now, a battery the battery bank, most people already have, but if you don't, it also does include a 45-watt USB-C PD3 power supply, a 1.5 meter, which is also 4.9 feet charging cable that includes included with the system that you can plug into the wall and not have to worry about the battery life also. So if you're if you have an outlet near you you're set you, know, you sit on the couch plug it into the you know plug behind the couch or you should be fine also uh the steam deck uses a modified version of arc linux called steam os on the steam deck this os utilizes the application programming interface api to optimize how games run on the system Valve is combing the, the Steam game library to highlight the titles that run well on the Steam OS, verifying games titles that are compatible with the deck without any additional tinkering. So they're not saying that the, if it's not verified, you can't play it. It's just they're going through, eventually we'll get through all the all of the games, but they want to make sure that they verify things that they can put on there, play it, and you don't have to like mess with anything. The Valve has released an, an official compatibility checker that you can use to see if your Windows games will run on Steam Deck. A green check mark indicates that the game is fully verified to run well on the Stream Deck. A yellow check mark indicates that the game is playable on the Steam Deck, but requires extra steps or manual work from the users. Remember, a PC game may run well on the Steam Deck even if Valve hasn't reviewed it yet. The library is deep after all. Yes, so you're st we're still want to make sure that they're not saying that just because it's not reviewed, it's not compatible. It's just it hasn't been checked yet. Be patient. Uh, beyond Portons compatibility, potent port Protons compatibility, Steam Deck lets you install multiple operating systems by dipping into the Steam Deck's BIOS menu. You can load Windows or other operating systems. 
So remember, I got this information from the link in the description. I didn't go over everything, just kind of the stuff that I was interested in and I want to talk about. So please comment down below, uh, tweet at me, any social media. I want to talk about this. I personally did not buy one because I can't afford it right now, but I think that it's a great idea. I would love to be able to sit on the couch while my wife reads a book and, you know, have a quiet gaming session uh, to myself, but be in the comfort of my couch. I mean, there's a lot of different situations I like about this. So please give me yours down below. And remember, sharing is caring, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.